I'm Anil Kumar and here is a question for you on higher order derivatives. Answer the following questions from the given displacement graph. So that is the displacement graph given to you. When is the velocity zero? When is the object moving in positive direction? And part C is find approximate distance traveled in first six seconds. So let's see how to answer these questions. When is the velocity zero? Velocity will be zero at turning point. So we are looking for turning points. So here, this is displacement versus time. So what is velocity? Velocity is derivative of displacement, correct? Velocity is derivative of displacement. Velocity is zero means derivative zero. That means horizontal tangent, right? So that really means horizontal tangent. So this is how you have to understand the question. So it really means that where on the graph of displacement do you have horizontal tangent? Because at that point, velocity will be zero, right? So let's look into the graph and we can clearly see these turning points are the ones where the tangent will be horizontal. So these are the points where the velocity is going to be zero. So let me mark those points as A and B. So I can approximately say this is like this is 1 and here it is 2. So you could say approximately slightly more than 1. So, so when is velocity zero? So we can say at approximately t equals to let's say 1.2 and at t equals to 4. The units are in seconds so we'll write seconds. So at that time approximately because you can't really accurately read from the graph but that's the turning point. So where the velocity is zero. Part B is when is object moving in positive direction? Now what does that mean? object moving in positive direction. So when object moves in positive direction, displacement increases. That means displacement increases. You could also say positive direction means that the velocity is positive. So velocity positive means that if I draw a tangent line, it has a positive slope. So clearly from here, from starting from zero to the maximum, we have a positive slope. But between A and B, we have negative slope. And therefore, we can say object is moving in positive direction when the interval is from zero to A, which I assume to 1.2, right? So we'll say 1.2 and from B onwards, right? and from B which is at 4 seconds to infinity. If this is an arrow here then infinity. If this point is like terminating here so if let me assume this to be terminating and starting from here in that case I write from 4 to 6. Is that okay? So that is how I can answer part B. So during this interval we see that the displacement increases right and velocity is positive. So if you draw a slope, the, if you draw a tangent, its slope will be positive in this interval. So let me say C here. So from B to C and from 0 to A, object is moving in positive direction. Now let's see the part C, which is find approximate distance traveled in first 6 seconds. Now this is very interesting. You can see what is displacement S at 4. Can you tell me? What is displacement at 4? It is minus 2. Do you see? It is minus 2. That is displacement. What is displacement at A? I mean say 1.2 in this case. That is 4 units. Do you see that? What is the displacement at C which is t equals to 6? It is, you can read from here, 9, right? All these are in meters. So we'll write 9 meters, 6 meters. So these are displacement, not distances, okay? Now, let's read this question. It says, 
find approximate distance traveled in first six seconds correct so from the graph what you really notice is that from in in the beginning from one, 0 to 1.2 seconds the object moves four units up right so it is four units up so distance traveled is four units that is four meters plus then it comes down from four to minus two right so it brings four to minus two right that is to say six meters and then it moves a distance of it goes from minus 2 to 9 that is 11 meters so plus 11 meters distance is scalar it is not vector displacement is vector so you have plus and minus sign but that is the distance so the distance traveled is 10 plus 11 21 meters you understand so that is why this part C is very very uh, critical to understand when we are saying total distance traveled in first six seconds so whether you go in the positive direction or in the negative direction it is the distance right so that is how it should be seen now let me add a question for you when is displacement zero so I'm write, writing part D for you and that is when is displacement zero and what does it mean displacement is zero at two points at the starting point you can read from the graph here and here wherever it crosses this line displacement is zero so whenever the displacement is zero you can assume that the particle returns to its original position right so it is zero the answer for you is at t equals to zero t equals to three and at t equals to five seconds that is the answer right so that is how such questions should be answered i hope that helps thank you and all the best